crazy. We specialize in crazy. Goodness gracious. guys um welcome back I got a call for a pickup truck stuck in a ditch it wasn't supposed to be really bad it can't be really bad i'm like downtown yeah that was all the detail you got truck stuck in the ditch please come he said it was behind the super eight it's just like the cemetery yes yes it is it's a fine place to get on that we had one down here at one time we went it up the hill he said it was just one wheel. I don't think so. Somebody else pulled him out. What do you think? Somebody else was calling for him. The hotel was calling for him, I think it was. So it's really hard to say. Okay. That's a flop. Okay, never mind. Uh, I think we found him. See what you got. It's probably on the shock tower, isn't it? Bottomed out on the yeah. Bottomed out on the shock tower. She's on there, ain't she? Yeah. I just think you can get a hold of that right there. Put your record like this. See if we can pick it up and... Yeah, try and take your boots. Why don't you talk to We'll have to uh, go to an ATM kind of party. Oh, yeah. oh, I got the card. Okay, yeah, well, we can do card. Okay. We can rent the card. That thing is hung. Is it on the diff? It's like in between the shock tower and the diff, and it's like bent the shock tower over. And oh, that's not good. We've gotten something out of this ditch before. Yeah. It looks like they've blocked off their entrance, this entrance over here, to avoid people from going through that. Picked up. It's gonna need to go. Are you gonna be able to get it with a pick, or are you gonna have to use the winches? Be winched. Okay. It's gonna be crazy. All right. Huh? Let's get it because it's jammed. Specializing crazy. Hello. Yeah, I would lift with the, yeah, lift the whole boom up. I'll be able to winch it up now.
Nope. Now you can boom down and just let him coast forward or drive forward. Luckily, they didn't end up down there. Okay, guys, that one was was pretty straightforward. Truck placement was kind of key on that one. You get it, get it lifted, and uh, once you get it lifted, you want to have enough side pull where it'll kind of scoot out of that situation that it was in. It was that the shock tower was kind of bent where they hit pretty hard, and it was in between the the uh, the diff and the shock tower, so it was it was wedged. It wasn't going anywhere anytime soon. But, uh, yeah, Kristen did a good job. Thanks. Got it up out of there. All I did was pull the lever. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we, we've had, I think we've had two or three right there in that same spot. It's a it's a really bad little thing. People will try to, to angle in and swoop into that parking spot and, and don't realize that their back wheels don't track the same as their front wheels. And But, yeah, this is, uh, we're, we're right off the strip hotel right off the strip in Pigeon Forge and you can see guys you, you get in trouble whether you're way out in the middle of the country in a crazy windy mountain road or just right downtown mm -hmm. uh, troubles can happen we've got really good drainage ditches they do their job so. <laughs> um, rainy old day I would suspect we'll probably get some more winch outs um, or the crashes, you know, people are driving too fast, hitting these corners too fast, and uh, it's a little slippery. So, if you hang out long enough with us today, you'll probably see some more. I see a police officer up there. Uh, do you see him? It's rescue. Yeah, rescue just left. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> well, everything out of the same section. Of course, it's been a How? How did you get over there? It's coming off there, right down through here. Oh, right through there. Holy cow, are you kidding? There's How in the world. There's Woo. car parts here. Uh, there's, there's, the, uh, car there's car parts, parts still down there. In front of us. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay. I see their tracks. Man, yeah. that was a ride. Other guy. There's a woman driving. I guess she freaked out. He reached over. That's amazing. Wow. She's a pretty good passenger driver. I don't know. Do you have any idea? I will get it up out of there without. It's going to take Bring some change, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> take part of that deck down over there, so. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Uh, I'm like him, Bob, so if you want to get out. See what's going on with it, yeah. So they came off of this bank. Well, they come around that curve. Coming off that cabin up. See the second cabin to your right. Yep. But it's coming down through there. And she said, he said, Said the brakes went out. Uh, yeah. They, yeah, I can see the marks. There's a bunch of uh, fender wells, and uh, God, that made quite the divot. But anyway, managed to navigate in between. You see the tire track where how close? That was had to be just inches from yes. that mirror. I, it still has a mirror on it, I guess. Well, I don't know. I see a couple marks on these poles. Boop. I bet you that was the mirror. Probably. Goodness gracious. 
That's some lucky folks right there. How in the world do you navigate all the way down and end up? Woo! That's pretty wild right there. That is really wild. How in the world? Somebody should play the lottery today. Yeah. Right there is your driver. From the yeah. passenger seat. So from the passenger seat, man, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah. On something like this, you know. Yeah, we'll uh hopefully it looks like uh, I either take it back out the way it squeezed through there or try to move I don't know that that's as wide as that and that that don't move so no. it'll probably have to go back the same way it went in and then I'll try to make this swoop over here goodness I cannot believe that I've seen some close calls but that's probably uh, that's, that's probably taking the cake right there right. here's the thing if I set up over here to pull it Am I going to have enough room to, yeah, because I'm going to have to get it about back here and then I'm going to have to go back up there to pull it that way. Yeah. Is it drivable, the front end? It's mashed big time. Is it going to roll? It should roll. Yeah, it should roll, but if I get it, it, it won't go over there. The fire pit and the thing's probably a tighter squeeze than the way it went in. The lightest scrapes on those two poles right there from the mirror. Barely even got them. Barely even touched them. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. All right, guys, we're going to get some stuff set up, and I'll be back with you. Okay, guys, I couldn't quite get over here, but I guess what I'm going to do is try and squeeze it back the way it went in and then see what I do to flip off the ground. keys i just want to show this debris field what happened so they were coming down that road right there went off the cliff there came down this is a bumper you see where the front tires hit right here that's probably about a 25 foot drop from the road down to here and then they travel along this way in between the porch and the grill and then over there we'll get this stuff picked up He's gonna get something? Okay.
Okay, you'll have to boom up. Just be mindful of those rocks. If you're backing up and you hit that rock, it's probably going to slide into the house. This is where they ended up. Tire marks here. They were up against these small trees here. But they came from, you see where that police officer's car is up there, the very first one. They came down that way and then went down. Boom. And they came from here. And I hope they're okay. We'll let Jeff get this loaded up. Maintenance is here to take care of the cabin. So I'll take it to trash.
been so fortunate to miss the deck and uh, just go right in the pool. The best pancake place in Gatlinburg. That's it right there. It's breakfast, guys. Until 2. I don't know if I'll make it. It's 141. 1140. 11 I'd like to have coffee still. Anyway, got that recovery done. Um, some folks did go to the hospital. Looked like uh, one was limping pretty bad, and I'm not sure what happened to the gal. I hate that. Uh, looked like some broken glass where her head might have bumped the windshield. So, but he didn't seem too concerned. He brought us back some keys, so she must be okay. It's probably just some cuts, cuts and bruises. I cannot believe they ramped that though. That is. That was crazy. It was like a 25 foot bank from the road to uh, to the uh, ground. The guy that uh, was I was talking to that was getting the purse, uh, he'd said that he was following them. And he said all of a sudden I was like, but it just disappeared. He said, surely that wasn't the road. And, uh, no, they just straight down that, uh, and that was straight down. It was straight down. They just, yeah, I don't think their tires touched any of it, and then they just landed straight on their front bumper. And I don't know how it didn't deploy airbags. Maybe just because it sits up so high. But you think the jar of that? Sometimes airbags. I wonder, guys. It's like, why? Why did this not? We see a lot of weird stuff like that. Anyway, um, got them squeezed back out. Just a couple little scrapes on the poles, and the uh, maintenance was there to put the landscape back together. So really, I tore out some briar bushes, but really no damage to the property. I guess they probably have some ruts. That's kind of always bad. There were some ruts, and it looked like it looked like there was a bush or two that got taken out. But those are the little uh, the burning bushes, and you can get those for like eight bucks at Walmart. So. Uh, like I said, guys, this place is always jam-packed. People, you can barely find parking, but they've got some amazing breakfast. Syrup is top-notch. <laughs> this hits the spot. Okay, guys, absolutely delicious and cheap. You know, we can come here and, and get lots and lots of food. Cheap. Little house of pancakes, guys. I'm gonna try to see if I can back out of here. That's the only bad thing is, there's, it's no secret. Everybody knows about it. And if you can find a parking spot, then you've done really well for yourself. Uh, but we're right here off of 321, just down from uh, the car wash and Alamo. Alamo. You guys know where we're at. And um, most importantly, everything autos lot. <laughs> I am uh, just a few short blocks away from from the lawn but go grab yourself some of that they do have lunch as well but they close at two o'clock i believe it is i want to say it's like six to two i could be wrong it might be a little earlier but i do know it's two o'clock that they close uh, so don't forget to swing in there it's just it's easy they're fast good food good prices and get you on to having some fun getting your day started in gatlinburg ready to have a good time but we're gonna go over here to the lot I uh, got a few things I need to button up we're supposed to get some high winds I had a couple of awnings that were out and uh, things like that so we're gonna try to take care of that before hopefully I don't have the winter storm that they're saying we could have they're saying this weekend we could get another big big bunch but uh, Jim sent uh, I got this wrong I'm so sorry but I believe it was Jim I've got a million names that always run through my through my head Jim sent some auto uh, some socks I guess you could say instead of using chains he sent these really cool things that are socks and, and it's just like I'm, I'm explaining to you guys guys it's uh, it looks just like a sock you stretch it over the tire and it's supposed to be really good for ice and snow and uh, thank you Jim we appreciate that and you know we might get to try those out this weekend who knows but stick around stay tuned okay YouTube it's uh, story time story time could be fun um, I just love sharing this stuff with you guys uh, we got a phone call it was a guy he said I'm, I'm not sure if you can help me or not but uh, I'm reaching out to your towing company I'm blocked in and I'm not sure if you can come move these cars and you know it's always a red flag where are you at because uh, most of the time it's private property and and that's just not possible. Well, coming to find out, he had a little bit too much to drink last night and passed the test sobriety for test. sobriety test for 
public in talks, I guess, but he was on his way to his vehicle, which he had parked in the Pancake Pantry's employee-only parking lot. Well, he said then all of these officers were just hanging around watching to see if I was going to get into my car. So instead of getting into my car, I just left it there in the employee-only parking lot last night. Well, lo and behold, he calls me today. All of those employees showed up for work this morning, and uh, they're, he's, he's in there. He's blocked in. They, all these people need a place to park. And if you guys follow the channel, then you know that our parking lot over here is, is quite disastrous. I'm about ready to, to round the corner here so we can see if he's still there or if it's a it's an issue. But it was just funny. He, he wanted me to, to come and move these cars so he could get out of a place that he shouldn't have left his car anyway. Come move these employees that I took their parking spot. I'm guessing it's the big black one. I don't know. It looks like it's cleared out a little bit in here. But he said, they're not even in parking spots. They're parked everywhere. Well, if you guys watch our videos, you know what this parking lot looks like during hours. You know, it takes every square inch of this parking lot to house the employees that work in and around over here. And uh, it's just funny that he, he wanted me to come move all of these employee cars so that he could get out of a place that he shouldn't have been anyway. So anyway, I thought I would share that story with you guys and I'm, I'm guessing, yeah, I'm guessing it's this big ginormous truck right here, but it's 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 about closing time about 3 30 4 o'clock it starts to clear out and then that's usually when it becomes more of a problem for us because a few employees will leave and then other visitors will take the places of employees and then the employees can't get out so i don't know just a funny story i thought i'd share with you guys and we're not here to tow anything and and uh they've not asked me to remove it so uh, it's just there it's just story time